Hi guys, so today I'm going to be answering all your questions about my relocation to the UK. So questions like what type of visa, how much did you guys pay, what type of job does your husband do, how does one get a job in the UK, why did you guys move and things like that. I've actually answered some of your questions in previous videos so I'll link those videos down below. Things like what happened to your help, what happened to your friend and stuff like that. So there's a question here that says what are the pros and cons of moving your entire family from the life you are used to to a new destination like UK. So I'm going to answer the pros and cons in a different video. I need a whole video to answer pros and cons because hey, hey my eyes have seen something. So yeah, the next question is, do you plan on coming back to Nigeria after some years? So the truth is that I cannot answer this question with a definite answer right now, okay? I don't have a definite answer for this because there is a likelihood that we'll go back to Nigeria after some years. There's a likelihood of that. But I know that it is difficult for people to relocate abroad and relocate back to Nigeria. I know it's difficult. It's not that it's not doable. Many people do it, but I know that it is difficult. Okay, so never say never. Left for me, I don't know. I can't even say I know. Before, when I first came here, before I was like, I can't wait to go back to Nigeria. I can't wait for this whole thing to be over so that we can go back home. That's how I was seeing it before. But now that I have stayed here just two months or what, I'm like, you know what? Uh, we can put a pause on that. Okay, I'm going back to Nigeria. I don't even mind going to a different country. I said this in the previous video. I don't even mind relocating from the UK to a different country. I feel like living here for a few months has opened my eyes to so many things. I'm just like, I don't have to live and die in Nigeria, I beg, like, I beg, I beg, I beg. <laughs> you know how people say, eh, I can always visit abroad when I want. Eh, me too, I can always visit Nigeria when I want, okay? <laughs> I don't have to live there. But yeah, it's very possible that we'll go back to Nigeria after some years. A few years, not like that long. Like after a few years, it's very possible that we'll go back to Nigeria. But whether it is likely is what I don't know. And I cannot answer that definitely right now now the next question is do you plan to work in the uk or sticking to youtube as usual i don't plan to work in the uk i am sticking to youtube because youtube is actually work youtube is actually a lot of work in fact youtube can sometimes be more tasking than some other jobs and yeah mostly because of the ads okay it's not even because of the work itself it's just that you spend so much time on it so 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 there are some days that i wake up in the morning and i'm doing one thing or the other for my channel till night like literally till night 12 midnight 1 a.m i am doing something either i'm editing or i'm filming or something okay like today now after i dropped my kids in school i have been filming i left here went to pick them from school and i came back and i'm still filming and when i'm done filming i'm going to prepare dinner and when i finish preparing dinner i'm going to start editing my videos okay so it's actually very very tasking but youtube not just youtube content creation is actually my dream job okay it is the dream job that i never dreamt about okay <laughs> if that makes sense youtube is the dream job that i never dreamt about i like the fact that i can just wake up and say you know what for the month of april i'm not posting ish i'm not doing anything and nothing will happen like nobody's going to fire me yes my views will reduce yes i will not make as much money i might not even make money that month but i will not die i'll be fine like i'll I'll be I'll be very very fine okay and I can come back and jump right into it and work harder and try and grow again but the downside to doing content creation as a career sometimes is that number one when you stop the work will stop like if you stop posting videos your your channel is going to go down you're going to basically lose views and before you know what's happening you become irrelevant and you will not really have people watching your channel again okay so the truth of the matter is that they can tell you, oh, it's okay to take a break, it's okay to take a break. It affects your channel whether you like it or not, okay? Another downside to it is that for you to be successful on YouTube, you have to work really, really, really hard. Like you cannot, you can't play. You can't do your work anyhow. If you play with it, it will play with you. I keep saying it. If you make YouTube your hobby, YouTube will make you its hobby, okay? All of you will just be joking there. Now the next question is, what factors should one consider before making this bold decision as a single person or married with family? I think one factor you should, one of the factors you should consider is the fact that this is a huge 
change. It is a very, very huge change. You might not understand the gravity of what you are doing until you get here. It is a huge change. Life as you know it is no longer going to be life as you know it. Another thing is that adjusting is a lot of work, okay? It is a lot of work for you to assimilate and adjust to this environment. There are so many things that you need to put in place, okay? You need to get a house, you need to get a job, you need to get uh, a car If sometimes, okay? Not all the time, you need to get a car, but you need to have money. You need to learn how to drive if you want to get some certain jobs and learning how to drive here and getting your driver's license is not a small thing. It is one thing here that I'm actually mentally not ready for trying to get my driver's license, okay? So there are a lot of things that you need to factor in before you just up and leave your home country. So another thing to consider is what kind of job or career do you plan to have here and work towards it. So I'll say that we are kind of privileged because of the type of job my husband has. So it's actually his job that brought him here. It wasn't that we just applied to a UK job to get job. It was my husband's job that, you know, brought him here basically so but he's still with the same company right i think i've said that in a, in a in a previous video so we're privileged because you know that was how we came here but if you don't have that kind of opportunity you have to start looking for a job right from nigeria and even if you don't get a job from nigeria if you plan to do a certain kind of job when you get here you have to start making sure that you have everything necessary for that for you to get that job because it's not going to be easy for you to just get here and look for that job and get it okay it takes time it takes energy it takes a lot of effort it takes you some time doing other kinds of jobs before you get your dream job here so think about that and think about it quickly so if you know that you want to relocate to maybe canada and you want to work as a doctor in canada what are those things you need to do from right now for you to get that your job if possible talk to people who are already doctors in canada and find out what they had to do and ask yourself if you are willing to make those sacrifices if you are willing to do those things that they did okay because no matter how you came even us that came with job it's still a lot of work because my husband has to actually learn his new role and his new environment and everything on top of trying to learn the new job and learn the new environment there are so many things that are required of you so you need to get your driver's license you need to get a car you need to do this you need to put your children here you need to like a lot of is a lot of work like it's a lot of work but the way we are seeing it is that this is our time to actually make those sacrifices and do those grinding for us to better enjoy our future okay so by future i mean like maybe next year okay so in my head part of why i'm able to just go through all the stress that i'm going through right now and i'm not really angry about it is that in my head there's an end date for all this stress once i get my driver's license once i'm able to get a hang of how the school system works here once i get a hang of how the transportation system works once i make friends here during during summer <laughs> the, the way i'm planning to make friends during summer you will think that there's a, there's a special friend conference happening in summer you know but when I make friends here i'm giving myself one year to just put in the work to be able to enjoy the rest of my stay in this country for however long it is going to be okay even for my career as well that is part of why i'm trying to put out as much content as possible i'm trying to arrange my life in such a way that by next year i will hopefully be on auto pilot okay so just know that it is a lot of you have to sacrifice a lot for you to come to this country and actually do well you can't be lazy <laughs> you, you can't like if you are lazy sorry for you okay someone is saying what's the process if a person wants to get a job in the uk before moving there so again like i said our own is a bit unique because it was an internal job opening it wasn't like we just didn't, he didn't just go to a random site and find a job okay and me personally i never searched for a job so i really don't know how people find jobs all i know is that judging from people like my brother all i know is that when my brother is in canada my brother oh if i really think about it my brother was actually scouted from linkedin i think i'll ask him to tell me the story again but my brother was actually scouted from linkedin the company that he works for and it's a very big company right they actually found him and came down to Nigeria to interview him for the job and then brought him to Canada, okay? All I would advise anybody who wants to have that kind of opportunity, I would say, especially if you are still young, I would say, work hard wherever you are even if you're in nigeria even if you know your life is sweet in nigeria and you're enjoying yourself in nigeria make sure you are the best at whatever you do make sure you are the best at whatever you do and also and also make sure you are meeting international standards in whatever you do okay because you can never tell and especially when you are young you need to put your head down and learn whatever it is you need to learn for you to get a better outcome okay so even if it is business that you want to do 
calm down and learn business very well grind day and night day and night because if i look at my husband if i look at my sister and her husband if i look at my husband as well even myself although i don't count myself in all kind of things <laughs> I used to remove myself from those kind of talk. But when I look at these people, I see them as people who have the spirit of excellence. I always say it. They are people who have the spirit of excellence. I remember clearly my sister during NYSE. My sister was always reading, trying to pass ICANN, trying to pass ACCA, trying to pass uh, uh, Canada. Even when she was in Nigeria, there was one Canadian certification that my sister did right from Nigeria and she passed it from Nigeria. And I think she said that after her set, they stopped people that are not living in Canada from taking that exam. I mean, obviously now she lives in Canada and that thing. I don't I don't know the full details, yeah, but basically there was a certification that my sister, mind you, all this time when she was doing NYSE, she was serving in Benue State and she was doing ICANN. She passed her ICANN when she was serving and she passed her ACCA as well. Then when she now got married and was working and was having kids, she passed that um, Canadian um, certification or whatever for accounting. I don't know what the full details are. So I'm just telling you guys all these things to try and encourage you, especially if you are a young person. Don't listen to people that are always like, just do it anyhow. Or, you know, you might have friends who are just winging their life. Don't wing your life, okay? Take charge of your life. Whatever it is you want to do, do it and do it well. Stand out, okay? Stand out. That's one thing that, I, that works for me as well, even though not to their own extent. But... Whatever I want to do, I want to stand out. I want to do it well. Like I don't like I don't like being mediocre. That's just it. I don't like being mediocre. So whatever it is you want to do, do it and do it well. And trust me, doors will open for you. Okay. Can I get an amen, somebody? So the next question is, what kind of visa did you use to relocate with your family? I don't even know, to be honest. That's the truth. I don't even know. But I think it is a type 2 visa. I don't know what that means, but I know it's a type 2 visa. And I know that there was something called global mobility, something, something written on our um visas right so that's all i can say but if you ask me i don't i don't know the truth is that that's why i'm not like making a special video telling you how to relocate to the uk and all those things because i don't know i do not pay attention to all those things i did not care and <laughs> you know it was between my husband and his company my own is just okay when are they carrying our things okay when are we doing this one that's that's it right so that's why i can't even come here and start trying to teach you guys how to get job how to get visa how to apply for the visa all those things i can't come here and teach you guys because i don't know i'll just i'll just Okay, someone asked me where did I get those pink bags I used to pack my luggage AliExpress just go on AliExpress write parking cubes search for parking cubes AliExpress Amazon search for parking cubes I think I actually got one from AliExpress and I got one from Amazon if I remember I'll link them down below but just go to AliExpress and write parking cubes you'll see different shapes different sizes different colors different numbers they have the five pack they have the seven they have the eight pieces I think I bought the eight pieces from AliExpress and I bought the eleven piece from Amazon or something like that, maybe 11 or 7, 7 and 8, I can't remember. Someone said, you said something about getting a car. So my question is, do you need a UK driving license or is your Nigerian driving license accepted in the UK? Your your international driving license, your Nigerian driving license is accepted for only one year. So that is why we have just one year to actually pass our driving test and get our uk driver's license okay someone is asking hi adeze what happened to your birds or parrots one flew into the neighbor's compound and the neighbor's dog killed it then one flew away and then another one two flew away actually because i had three parrots so someone is asking how did you handle three kids alone without your husband traveling now ah, it wasn't easy i think i'll give you guys story time in a different video it was not easy and the next question is did you write any exams to enable you join your husband or what were the things required remain blessed i didn't write any exams i didn't do anything i just followed my husband i just followed who no root follow who no root oh it's a good question someone is asking me that having spent time in canada for a little while and then spending time here which one has better cost of living i don't know i can't really say because the way i see these major countries america uk and canada the way i see these major countries i feel like their currencies are almost similar not even in exchange rate though what i mean is that what might be five pounds in the uk might be five dollars in the us and might be five canadian do canadian dollars in canada okay that's what I think. I'm not even sure. I don't know. I don't don't take my word for it, okay? But I just I just feel like because when I hear people talking about how much they pay as rent in the UK, I will hear something like one two. Then in Canada, I also hear something like one two. Well, depending on where, or depending on where, especially in the US, depending on where, and depending on where in all these places, yeah. But the average cost of things sound alike to me, 
whenever people are saying how much they pay for certain things but i feel like uk is cheaper when it comes to food please let me know in the comment section what you guys think i don't really know i'm just talking uh, out of my head i don't really know but i feel like uk is cheaper when it comes to food and certain things okay i feel like uk i feel like uk is cheaper but let me know let me know what you guys think i feel like uk is cheaper but i think that canada is better with new immigrants okay because i've been here since nobody they asked me she buying nobody's asking me anything okay so this next question is how much did it cost you and your husband in total for the relocation process and was it easy for you to make the decision it wasn't easy for me to make the decision, but I didn't really have a choice, <laughs> okay? So it wasn't like, oh, I was not deciding, should I go, should I not go? I didn't have a choice because I know the kind of life I want to live and my husband is definitely in that picture. So if he is going to a different country for his work, his literal source of livelihood, if he's going to a different country for it, I just did not have a choice but to follow him, okay? So I won't really say... It was difficult or not it was it was difficult on me but i didn't have a choice basically so about how much it cost us it did not cost us anything but this is even a bit tricky let me not just say it didn't cost us anything okay so our whole relocation process was covered by the company okay so from visa to traveling for visa traveling for medicals to um what else you know carrying our things here cargoing our things here then our flight tickets and some of those things and then even the first apartment we stayed in here and the first car my husband was driving here everything was covered by the company so we didn't really spend our own money trying to relocate here right however we had to sell our car although we sold our car for more than we bought it but it's because of dollar and everything we sold our car for more than we bought it so i won't say we didn't lose money there but we lost money in terms of are things that we had to let go of okay so for instance our rent was due in april and we left in december so we've lost that extra rent some renovations i did i won't really say i lost the money but you know i could have enjoyed those things more um we didn't sell our things we gave out most of our things as the thing that's the things we didn't come here with we gave out most of our things and trust me the things we came here with is just like let's say 20% of all the things we have or even let's say 20% of all the things we have is what we came here with so the other 80% gone because <laughs> we didn't sell them so it's just like we're just dashing 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 giving out giving out giving out so that's that's a considerable amount of money that we lost in quotes okay so some things that we paid out of pocket for we are refunded for them so there were things that the company outrightly just paid for directly while there were other things that we had to pay out of pocket for and just present them with the invoice or the receipt and then they pay us back the money okay so we didn't actually spend money trying to relocate here however we lost money trying to relocate here does that make sense yeah i think it does however if you know my husband you will know that my husband actually likes money so for my husband to take this job just know that he has done his calculations very well and if we really balance the accounts very well okay but i would say we didn't lose anything okay so we are just even we just broke even a little bit i'm not talking about salary now salary is a different story altogether i'm talking about relocation allowance as compared to how much we lost in terms of our things that we let go of i will say that yeah we kind of balanced out somehow somehow we kind of balanced out although if i calculate solar panels a lot or more that's a lot of money <laughs> somehow it kind of balanced out so there is an interesting question here that i'm going to make a video about let me just read the question out for you guys okay do you feel like a new environment will affect your marriage in terms of your relationship with your husband based on relocation hmm this is a juicy one i have gist for you guys <laughs> i have sweet gist for you guys so just stay tuned subscribe to my channel oh subscribe to my channel i'm telling you guys now subscribe because i have gist for you guys i'll answer it in a different video like i'll really go in and just break it down to you guys the way i normally do in my honest fashion i'll tell you guys the real tea the way the way they happen someone is asking what documents we are needed for processing the uk permanent stay visa we are not we don't have permanent stay yet which is the ilr i think that's what they call it we don't have that yet what we have is just a what's brp now resident permits that's what we have right we don't have pr yeah is your area diverse no not really this is a mostly white dominated area like it's not diverse at all at all like 
I even managed to see Indians or Asians small and then it's a little bit like black people sprinkled here and there is a, a white dominated area especially this part that i'm in is white dominated okay someone's asking are your kids in school and did they have to step a grade down as you mentioned in your previous videos yes sophia and cora stepped a grade down well sophia has not even started school but cora had to step a grade down so cora is currently in year three meanwhile in nigeria she was in grade four okay um but eva is in her appropriate class okay so is asking how long was your visa process from start to end the visa process was quite short yeah it was quite short i think it was in a space of okay so he got this job when did we even start the visa process we started the visa process, I think, in September. Let's just say three weeks. Let's just say three weeks. Like the whole process of going to Abuja and doing our medicals. We got the medicals results the same day. Then we came back to Nigeria. Then we went for our appointment and applied. And then in, in less than a week, the, um, the visa was out. So I'll say three weeks from start to finish. I also got so many questions about what kind of job is your husband doing? What is your husband's job? What is he doing? I cannot disclose my husband's job. I cannot disclose the company he works for. I cannot disclose anything personal about him like that. All I would say is that he has a good job and you know, he's doing well for himself. And you know, we thank the Lord for that because yeah, we thank the Lord for that. That's all I will say. However, I will also add that we try to live way below our means and we try to save as much as possible. Okay, so we save as much as possible and we invest as much as possible. So if you look at our lifestyle, you really not see anything really flamboyant that we do. My husband is even worse. I, mean, I even try small because of YouTube, but you won't really see anything flamboyant that we do. That's because we are trying to structure ourselves in such a way that we can retire early and we can pay our children's university school fees <laughs> and, you know, just live a good life, simple, good, quiet life. That is our dream. That's our goal. Yeah, so as much as I can say he has a good job, his job is not the best job in the world. There are so many opportunities out there. Don't just look at us and feel like, oh, what we did is very admirable and you want exactly that. No, there are actually jobs out there that do so much for you as a person and pay you way, way more than my husband is being paid here, okay? So I'm telling you all this to encourage you that these things are actually doable. Don't limit yourself to one field or one, maybe you hear, oh, doctors in the UK are being paid well, you don't be like, I, I must be a doctor by fire by force. No, there are so many other pathways that people, you know, take so many other jobs that people have that actually pay them way, way more and actually do a lot of things for them way more than what you see us getting. Okay. So just keep your eyes out. Like I said, the spirit of excellence is very, very important. There are so many people doing amazing. There are so many people doing, when I say so many people, I mean so many people do, there are so many people in this world that are doing amazing and they are even younger. That makes things even worse for you. <laughs> If you are old, that makes things even worse for you. There are so many young people doing amazing. So if you want to stand out and get noticed or get picked or get a certain job or certain opportunities, you have to really, really work hard, pray harder. Okay. Not just work hard, but pray harder and just be good. Just be a good person. I feel, I feel like that is one part that we don't really talk about, but yeah, doing good actually brings a lot of favor and blessings into your life. I'm not saying you should go and do good so that you get blessings and favor, but I'm saying that, you know, it's, it's, it's just the law of nature, seed sowing and harvest, okay? There's a time to sow, sow and there's a time to harvest. If you sow good seeds, you'll get a good harvest. If you sow bad seeds, you'll get a bad harvest, okay? It might even seem like you're getting a good harvest, but trust me, the end is always destruction. So just try and live a good life, work really hard, pray to your God and keep an eye out for opportunities okay keep an eye out you have to be very very smart it's not just be a, a workaholic or a, a bookworm and you just be in your little corner no you have to actually try and be street smart as well keep your eyes out and put your ears to the ground okay be sensitive to the times and seasons because i feel like that's what helped my husband too he was kind of sensitive to the times and seasons and that was why we were able to get this job the time that we got it and relocated the time that we relocated. I feel like that was just the best time for us. God knows best and God really orchestrated it for us to work out that way. Okay. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I still have so many more questions here that I couldn't answer. Hopefully I've been able to answer your question one way or the other, but in subsequent videos, I'll just try any topic that I feel like is here. Any question I feel like I need to give a separate video, I'll make a separate video about it. Okay. Yeah. See you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye guys.